Yo, what's up? I am Bill Bensley. I want to tell you about our projects in Singapore just a little bit. It's going to be about a three minute video. Mostly we've been doing residential projects and very artistic Every things in Singapore. I hope you enjoy it. It can happen to you. If you in this short video, I want to share with you some of our more recent projects in Singapore and some fond memories that I have of my time living there too. Much of our work lately has been built on the reclaimed land of Sentosa Island. Developers like Hobi made bids for large tracts of this reclaimed land for millions, hired architects like Tanhok Bang of Maps and ourselves to design very high-end homes and gardens, built gorgeous homes and sold them for more millions. Huge profits were made and prices are still rising. Hobi, as a developer, was quite astute as they wanted to build their two residential enclaves, Paradise Island and Coral Island, with a unique sense of place. At Paradise Island, we enlisted my great friend John Underwood to help us bring to fruition an avant-garde sculpture garden, which was built on the tiny bits of leftover land and marketed as a private park of sorts. John Underwood, an uber-creative Australian specializing in the fabrication of anything metal and more, and Bensley have collaborated on dozens of projects around the world for many years. Here, John made an amazing tree of diamonds, a giant necklace cut from thick steel plates to make it look like lace, and a very cool interpretation of Rodin's thinker. At Coral Bay, we took a page from my past and went along the super primitive road having much of the sculptural work crafted in central Java by my charming friends Tato and Riga. The combination of the rough primitive sandstone and the artistic quality of the bronze casting, I think, is a real showstopper. Then Ho Bi asked Hok Beng and ourselves to design their family homes near the Botanical Garden, which was an explosion of new ideas, color and texture. No expense was spared in the crafting of their art-filled gardens. I love the spaces that Hock Beng made and the fine finishes that he used in the interiors. These contrasted so well with our playful gardens. Since 1990, we've been engaged by the Riati family of Lippo Bank fame, and we're still working with them until today. The family asked us to design the gardens and to embellish the architecture of their lovely home on Ocean Drive. Also in Sentosa Island, not far from Paradise Island, Shad Bising, based in Beverly Hills, designed a simple white box of a house, which turned out to be a perfect simple backdrop for our gardens of contemporary sculpture. Here, again, John Underwood did some of his best work ever. The tree of boulders that is interactive, I think, is a masterpiece. Our current project for the Riati family might just turn heads for some time now, a favorite artist of mine is Keith Haring. I adore his unique style of graphic patterning. Without copying, we have been inspired by Haring to design a totally unique landscape garden for the soon to be launched Twin Peaks condominium project. Compared to the condo that I did in Singapore 30 years ago, this garden proves that Singaporeans really are young at heart. And by the way, Singapore, was my first home in Asia. In the mid 80s, Singapore was a fine place to live. I shared a fine black and white home on Nassim Hill for some 300 Singapore dollars a month. I water skied on the mirror-like jungle lagoons near the Malaysian border on weekends when I was not in Bali and played sports for at least two hours a day with a whole host of local chums. From Singapore, I began my life in Asia.